Hey everybody, welcome back to RC with Adam. My name is Adam and welcome to another FPV flight tutorial video. And today we're talking about a subject that I personally enjoy very much, which is smoothment or flying smoothly, moving smoothly. And one of my favorite uh, FPV freestyle pilots, Ledrib, is very good at this sort of thing. So go check out his videos and it will get you inspired to fly smoothly. And so in this video, we're gonna jump into the liftoff flight simulator right here. And we are going to practice our smooth flying and I'm gonna give you some, uh, show you some tips that I've learned and just kinda, we're just gonna kinda, 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 kinda try flying smoothly here. And um, you know, I'm not, obviously I'm not the best at flying smoothly or whatever, but I'm going to show you what I what I have learned and maybe you can learn something from that too. So let's get started. So first of all, let's just fly around and I want to point out the difference between flying smoothly like when you're trying to capture some super sweet uh, GoPro footage and the difference between flying like for fun uh, for the FPV pilot or for like or for racing. So for racing, I mean, you do, you know, kind of want to be smooth, but the visuals don't matter and so you might be having a bunch of time just whipping your quad around and you're doing all kinds of crazy stuff and you're doing reverses and you're doing power loops and you're um you know just it's like you don't even know what's going on but you know what's going on kind of because you're the one you know controlling the quadcopter but it is not really fun to watch because it's just like everything's spinning around and like what's going on uh and so it's not a very pleasant visual experience because unless you're the pilot, you don't know what's going to happen. And so you, you just feel like you're getting jerked around all the time. So as opposed to, uh, instead of that, when you fly smoothly, so slow inputs on the sticks, nice wide turns, you know, you can see the, my stick uh, inputs down there at the bottom center of the screen. We're doing like a nice big arc and it might seem like we're not moving hardly at all um, you know, to us as the FPV pilot and well, and it's true, we're not, but you have to remember like for somebody who is watching, like if you want to, if you're trying to make a, a nice, uh, GoPro, uh, 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 you know, footage video, um, you have to remember that they're not gonna, they're not necessarily going to be in the same frame of mind as you. They, 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 they want to experience the visuals because they're not actually the one flying the quadcopter. So they, they don't get to have that part of the experience. They just see the visuals. So what we're talking about is like basically just essentially moving the sticks less. I mean, that's, that's kind of what it comes down to, but a big part of that is going to be your stick, uh, your rates and your expo setup. So for example, let's jump into the flight controller settings here, which is similar to how it is in beta flight, but not exactly. And you'll see here, I have 30% uh, expo. I find like that's, you know, that's pretty good. If you have too much expo, it could be weird. Cause like you're trying to make small adjustments. So you have to move the stick a lot and then it's just uncomfortable. So you can find that sweet spot, but let's say we increase the expo and in in liftoff simulator um the the pitch and the roll expo are linked so let's increase that to like 60. now what i want to show you is is what that did here um to the look at the graph if i change this so from 30 so you see how we have this like um you know this curve here and it gets more curved towards the right and the left of the graph and then if we change this to 60, so we're like doubling the amount of expo, you can see it flat, it sort of flattens out towards the middle. So we have more, uh, m more um, area in the middle of the stick position, like the centered stick position. It is going to correspond to less movement in the quadcopter, even if we put in larger inputs on the sticks. So let's uh, save that and get back out of here and let's resume so now what we actually let's restart so so now with that increased expo let's see kind of what this looks like so this allows me to um, have larger movements on the on the actual stick but have a smaller effect on the quadcopter and that can be nice because maybe we're trying and, and not necessarily 60 percent expo but whatever works best for you but maybe we want to go from like a nice um, turn and go, you know, smoothly go from a turn to a straight and back to a turn. And this will give us a little bit more room on the sticks 
uh, in order to do that. And we haven't changed the actual rate, so you can still do your rolls and stuff um, at your at your normal speed. So increasing your expo is a good way to help fly more smoothly. And in addition to that, I would say just keep in mind, I just totally smacked into that. <laughs> keep in mind um, like that you don't you just don't want a lot of movement in the in, in the quadcopter. Because um, I think a really common thing to do, like it's fun if you're the if you're the if you're flying the quadcopter, is to do this sort of like uh, sort of S S curves, like uh, like as if you were like skiing down a mountain. Um, and it it might be fun when you're doing it, but visually, I don't think it looks very good. It's like just stay still, you know. Whenever I see people doing that, it works sometimes, but but other times it's just like, man, I don't want to be like you know, tossing and turning this whole way. Like I just want to, it, I, to me, I think it'd be a lot nicer to just line up the quadcopter and maybe have like one smooth motion in a certain direction or just just let me take in the whole visual, the whole, the whole visual effect of me, you know, speeding down this hill like that. Um, and again, maybe we add some turning, you know, to there and, that's that kind of brings us to another thing is if we're going to be moving more slowly and putting in less input on the sticks we kind of need to sort of plan out as best we can where our quadcopter is going to end up so i'm doing this really big turn right here um, if i can make small corrections far in advance of when i need to actually uh, have them happen um, then that will make for a much smoother flight. So what I mean by that is if I if I know that it looks like I'm gonna head, you know, I'm gonna hit something, like I'm gonna hit this hay bale right here, but if I slowly uh, put in a little bit of input uh, far in advance of the hay bale, then I will miss the hay bale and I won't have to do like this sudden kind of like, you know, turn movement, uh, avoiding movement to get away from the hay bale. So it, I think that basically just kind of planning and thinking uh, in advance, looking ahead of, of where your quadcopter will actually end up um, will really help a lot. And then of course, uh, let's say another thing that you can do um, if you know you want to add some 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 flair, you want to spice things up a bit, you know. So what you could do is is practice um, kind of going from like a fast movement to a slow movement. So like I'm flying over this thing and I do like this fast kind of flip, uh, kind of twirl thing, but then I slow down immediately. So it's like it's almost kind of like a little fling trick, which we'll talk about talk more about in another uh, tutorial. And so basically we're combining like a fast movement, but then like ending up ending up slowing it down which I think looks really uh, pleasing. Or I guess you could say we could do like a slow movement and then sort of speed it up at the end, which eh, I don't know. I think it's better to go fast and then slow. So that is, that's a good way of, of sort of slowing things down, making things smooth. So smooth. And then of course, if you have like a, uh, a, a, a modern GoPro or, Go, or GoPro stabilization uh, software that's going to be a huge difference in terms of actually making it look smooth and um, just really just like smooth just smooth obviously this is not the most amazing map uh, you know to be flying smooth around because we don't really have that many interesting uh, geographical features or tall buildings or anything like that but you can kind of get the idea you know maybe you fly smoothly um just easing into things you know flying flying um smooth lines and then easing into the power you know maybe uh smooth rolls just everything slow just slow just circular flow just feel the flow get in the flow And that, this type of flying is why I love um, Ladrib's videos so much because he's very good at just getting into the flow, feeling the flow, feeling the vibe. And maybe you even, you know, you speed things up a little bit, but then you kind of slow things down and, and make it just a very visually pleasing experience.
And honestly, it might seem like an easier thing to do to fly uh, smoothly and slowly, but really it, it is kind of, it's its own discipline. It takes practice to do that because it has, it involves a lot with timing. So like timing, if you're doing like a split S, when you give it throttle, when you, um, you know, pull out of the, out of a dive and trying to make it look smooth, it can actually be more difficult um, and, and doing things slowly can be more difficult than just doing them fast. Like if you're trying to do a fast roll, it's not that hard to just jam the sticks, um, you know, to the maximum deflection and then do a roll, but like, it just, it doesn't look that good. But if you, uh, if you want to do like a slow roll, you know, without crashing into something that can be even more difficult. So I just love, I just love flying slowly and just smooth, not necessarily slowly, but flying smoothly you know turns like that i feel like you can just really you can follow the uh you know follow the the geography the terrain it i just love it i just love it so um yeah another thing that will help to make everything look smooth is to well uh, of course avoid jerky sort of motions um but then also avoid like the the reversal rewind type of stuff where you're you act like you're gonna go in one direction but then you go in a different direction because like visually it's very confusing if somebody's somebody's trying to watch it and they're like oh yeah we're gonna turn here but then you're like no we're not gonna turn there psych so like an example of of sort of like a very jerky jarring uh reversal type of motion would be like i was gonna come up here but then i come back down like a rewind a rewind which we'll talk about more in about in blah, 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 blah. I don't know what the heck I'm saying anymore. It's hard. It's hard to fly and talk at the same time, man. So to recap, put in some expo that'll help you move your sticks more, but not have as as big of an effect on the quadcopter. Also, just don't move your sticks as much. Maybe turn your rates down a little bit, and remember to not have extra unnecessary kind of turning sort of motions remember that you want to just keep everything smooth keep it flowing keep it moving and uh I don't, i'm just making things up now i don't even know thanks for watching everybody i hope this was helpful to you this is kind of how i fly smoothly and i'd love to hear your tips for flying smoothly leave me a comment down below thanks for watching and i will see you again very soon on the next fpv tutorial